right guys so let's take a look at the eggs and see how they're doing i know you're not supposed to keep opening and closing the incubator but here's 30.5 celsius 30.6 celsius 30.5 so it's fairly constant now i want to check mainly because of the dud eggs i'm gonna take them out now because they're eventually going to rot oh my gosh eventually going to rot which is not good so while we're at it let's check on the good eggs and i'll show you if they have veins i'm also curious to see if they have veins if they have veins then we know that they are fertile so yeah let's get this opened okay so i've got a torch over here it's not working hey okay stay stay on so we're gonna take this egg and put on top and we'll see if there are any wait i'm gonna have to turn off the light why isn't this work hey yo what's up with this this torch seriously is it out of battery or something what on earth come on man stay stay okay so let's see oh are you freaking are you kidding me dude oh my stay freaking stay man oh my gosh okay so there we go this one i'm not too sure if it's fertile or not but it does not look like a dud egg but i don't see any veins at the same time so yeah why is this light being so weird oh yes look at that this one has veins so this one is a hundred percent fertile which is awesome so does that mean that the previous one this one is not fertile i am not too sure man what is up with this light okay let's check the third one and this one yep we have got veins you can see it's red so that indicates that it is fertile and the last oh my gosh this light is getting on my nerves okay let's check this one. Oh yeah come on light there we go it's red awesome we have got three fully fertile confirmed fertile eggs this one i'm not too sure let's have another look hmm okay light oh yes i think that's a vein at the corner bottom over here i don't know guys comment down below is this fertile or not okay so now this one we're not going to disturb we're just going to leave it in the incubator that way the temperature can be constant because if we keep taking them out they could be born deformed i think yeah i think that's that's not going to be good if that happens still 30 29.8 degrees so it's okay not too much of heat heat loss okay so now these are the ones that we want to okay. these are the ones that we want to deal with these are the definite dot eggs they're they're kind of sticky yeah they're sticky for some reason oh actually they're starting to mold you can see the fluff at the top there yep that's the mold definitely dot eggs you see nothing you can't see anything and yeah i'm actually curious as to what they look like inside so we're gonna go and cut them open and see oh they're sticky i think it's the mold that's sticky all right so i've got a deli cup over here which we will be cutting the eggs in because i don't want to dirty my carpet i've got a blade over here let's open this a brand new blade so let's just cut it open and see what's inside this egg shall we okay so there's no one here to help me so i'm just going to rely on the the tripod okay here goes oh wow look at that okay we're cutting through the egg and it looks to be very solid whoa what is that look at that guys that is insane i thought that the yolk was gonna be like you know like chicken chicken egg yolk the moment you open it it's just gonna like come out but this one is like a it's like mayonnaise what the heck what the yo look at the look at how it look at how it comes down it's like sauce oh my <laughs> oh look at you that is so weird that is so weird dude what on earth is this oh look at that 
That is insane. Yuck. Yuck. Look at that. But at the same time, that was so satisfying. Let's do it for the other ones. <laughs> Alright, I've got the tripod there. I've got the egg here. Okay, this time, let's cut it this way. Alright, let's go. Sliced here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yo. Oh my. Look at this. Look at when I open it. It has its own... It's like... I. It's like custard. I have no... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh and i'm not going to be remember when i cooked the tarantula eggs yeah i'm not going to be cooking this because i don't know if it's if it's rotten because i've been keeping it in the incubator for a couple days already and they're dut eggs so they don't grow or yeah it smells it smells so weird but yeah um, as I was saying, I've kept it in the incubator for a couple of days, so I am not sure if it's already rotten. You can see the mold. Yep. Okay, so this one, we shall cut just at the end over here. Okay, just at the tip. Slice it open. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, what am I even doing with my life? Okay. Here we go. Yuck. You look at that. <laughs> By the way, this is my first time actually cutting open a dud egg. So, yeah, very, very interesting for me. I don't know if you guys have seen something like this before. I mean, ball python breeders, you probably have. But look at that. Yuck. So disgusting. Uh, really, really sad. Otherwise, we're going to be having extra three eggs, three babies, I mean. But unfortunately, they were infertile. And yeah, this is what we have with the from the eggs. That is so weird. Such a weird, weird consistency. I want to touch it. I want to... Oh, it's like... It doesn't even feel like, like chicken egg yolk. It's like a... Very, very thick. Yuck. Ugh. That is... Ew. It's like a... I don't know how to say what... How the consistency is. I don't know how to explain. But it's definitely weird. Okay. I think... <laughs> I'm done being a kid now. I mean, I'm always a kid. But I'm, I'm, I'm done playing with this. I'll go and wash my hands now. That... That just looks so wrong in so many ways. Okay, guys. So, that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this weird little video and an update on the fertile eggs. Yeah. I really hope that the first one that we candled is actually fertile. Because I, I couldn't really see any veins that was too prominent. But, yeah. Hopefully, fingers. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to cross my fingers on them. I don't want my middle finger to get all yoky. Is that even a word? Yoky. So yeah, guys. Anyways, I will see you in the next video. Take care and peace. Ew. I've already touched my middle finger. Blech.